Hello guys, welcome to another video of FX Mentor and in this video you are going to learn that how you can hack the signals by Supertrend. I am going to show you the indicators today, uh, they will be on the screen and shortly we will discuss about the indicators. So in by using these indicators you can uh, maximize the number of the positive trades and you can minimize your losses. Yes, definitely you can cut your losses. So uh, first of all, let's start with gold right now. So guys, you can see that it's a, um, I have, I'm using the pivot, the point super trend. And if I take you to the ind indicator section, you can see pivot point super trend and that is by loan Santhi and it is 14,359 downloads right now. And the second thing that I am using is the moving average exponential, and this is with the 200 period. The uh, moving average is shown in the in the in the yellow color. And if we go to the settings of the moving uh, average, then guys, you have to change the inputs from uh, that could be by default something else, but you have to change it to the 200 period because I am using the 200 period yellow line. Okay, so uh, as I have also also posted some other videos about the super trend, but I think so that this strategy can work very well because that's really uh, going very well as per my opinion. Okay, right now you can see that the latest signal uh, on the one minute chart on USDCHF, that is the sell signal, okay? Now you have to see the two things, that what is the signal by the pivot point super trend and the second you have to check the 200 period moving average. So right now you can see on the screen that uh, the candles are pumped below the 200 period moving average, the uh, moving average a 200 period moving average is into the ye yellow color you can see the candles are pumped down and now you can take your entry for uh, going into the same direction right you can set up your stop loss above the moving average uh, like uh, if you have taken just a sell trade you can set up the stop loss above the uh, yellow moving average or if you want to test it more then you can set up the uh, stop loss up to the sell level but i personally don't recommend so above the moving average that would be the fine option okay now you can see the watch more you can see the next candle is also pumping down so a very good signal okay now how to avoid the fake signals that uh, we uh, also received from the uh, super trend so guys uh, you can see here we had a sell signal although this signal is somehow satisfied but you must check the moving average the two it was above the uh, the candles were above the mo moving average so in that case you have to ignore the sell signal so this is the good scenario where you can see that the candles are pumped below the moving average let's uh, take some other examples okay look at this cell on gold one minute above the moving average we have received a sell signal ignore this one now you can see the buy is running and if we talk about this buy you can see it's running smoothly so this is type of a structure that you have to look for your trading. Let's go back to the gold. Okay, now look at here. Here we have received a buy signal somewhere here. Okay, but uh, the market crosses the moving average. Then you can take your entry and you can see the gold straight went a very good into the upward direction and that was the very good move, right? Let's have a look on Euro USD that what's going on on Euro USD. Okay, sell signal was appeared. The market was pumped below the moving average. That was fine. If you are still into the sell trade, that's fine. But overall, if you have taken the sell from here, that's a very good uh, take profit up to here, right? Okay, let's take another example. Okay, below the moving average sell signal, you can take this one, right? Okay, below the moving average, you have a buy signal. Either the trade go positive, but you don't have to take any kind of risk. Like if we discuss about the USDJPY, look, now you can, you must be thinking that what I am telling you, look, Above the moving average, you can see the sell signal isn't valid. I mean, that's not a good signal. Again, the super uh, trend, pivot super trend has pointed us with the buy signal and you can see this buy is running very successfully. So this is how we need to trade, okay? Uh, okay, let's have a look on USD CAD, okay? Uh, what's going on? Sell signal below the moving average, both conditions are met and you can simply take the trade look buy signal appeared here but you can see a little bit pump up but later on the market was again down so you have to avoid such type of situations from the market hopefully this must this strategy should be very clear moreover guys i am using the xness broker from 2015 and this is the valid and honest broker in the form of uh, deposit and withdrawals and this is the regulated broker you can join this broker the broker link is given in the description of this video below so you can support fx mentor by joining this broker and we will be coming up with a lot of more strategies that will be 
very easy for our subscribers so guys if you like this video then please press the like button and also share your thoughts about this tragedy into the comment section thank you very much for watching this video